the genesis of the book then is to focus on that new curriculum and what it means both here in the college, but it also had an external purpose as well. And the external purpose has a different history. In 1910, uh, President Charles W. Eliot was engaged in a project to try not just to uh, find a different way to educate uh, Harvard undergraduates uh, about the world that they lived in, uh, the great classics of modern Western tradition, but also uh, he thought that it would be a good idea if they could produce a set of books that would be appealing to people outside of the university, to the average person who wanted to understand what the important ideas of the Western world were about. And it really was a Western-centered, more of a kind of classical tradition, though it included many, many American works as well. It was incredibly successful, uh, and, that's very, and that was very important. And we thought that this is not a time when we could recreate such a thing. Uh, that time has passed. Uh, the, the ways in which people get information about the world is profoundly broader and different in every aspect than what happened um, in 1910. But the, there's a core there that we try to pick up on, which is that there's some way for us here at Harvard, as we are teaching our students, uh, that we can share some of that some of that, what we hope the students are taking away uh, from those classes with people out in the world. Um, I think what's important for readers of this book um, to think about uh, is the broad range of essays here and the ways in which the questions are, are being asked. Uh, some of these essays are, um, are from lectures that our professors have given at the beginning of a course. So it sets the stage for what will be pursued throughout the course. Some of them are the penultimate lectures. So it's toward the end and it suggests, you know, I've given you, the professor might say, I've given you uh, all these different things to think about, now it's your turn to think. And I think that mix of introductory sets of questions uh, with the annotated bibliography that then people can go ahead and read more if they like, with the, the, that combination combined with uh, essays that where the professor or faculty member has made some points and then opens the door at the end for you to think further. So I, I think that's a nice mix and I hope that the readers will see that as an invitation to be involved in the questions that are raised in every single chapter.